basic training for an army that doesn't yet exist. 22-year-old Jean-Marc Josil is trying to stay in shape while he waits to hear from Haiti's defense ministry. Last month, he was one of several hundred Haitians who signed up to be part of the country's new army. I enlisted to serve and defend my country, but also one of my main motivations is that I need a job. Thousands of unemployed young men like Jean-Marc see an opportunity in the government's plan to rebuild the army more than two decades after it was disbanded. But those who remember Haiti's long history of military coups and human rights abuses see warning signs from the past. What's happening right now is very dangerous. It seems like the government is more interested in building a private army for themselves. 120 men have already received training in Ecuador. The government insists a new force would be limited to securing the border and responding to natural disasters. However, many believe it would also be used to maintain security, a task that has largely fallen on the national police and United Nations peacekeepers for the past 13 years. MINUSTA, as the UN mission is known, leaves a controversial legacy in Haiti, from allegations of rape to introducing cholera. But even its biggest detractors concede MINUSTA brought about a degree of stability in this volatile nation. The discussion to reinstate the armed forces has been going on for several years in Haiti. However, for those people who support the plan, the debate has taken on new urgency in recent months, with the imminent departure of the UN peacekeeping force set for October. These men say any security vacuum in Haiti is theirs to fill. More than 20 years ago, they made up the rank and file of Haiti's army. But though they lost their jobs, they never quite laid down their weapons. They are armed and also wield political clout. To have a new army without us will be a catastrophe. There are thousands of us and we are ready to defend our rights. Arguments over the shape of the new military will continue. But while far from prosperous, the last 10 years have brought some relief to Haiti's most violent neighborhoods. And whoever is tasked with the country's security must build towards the goal of sustainable peace. Julia Galliano, Al Jazeera, Port-au-Prince, Haiti.